Hey there, CJ Math students, and welcome to Notes 4.3, Part 1. So, from yesterday, remember that a numerical expression contains numbers, operations, and grouping symbols. Let's say grouping, uh, but does not include equal signs. All right? So something like 5 times 3 plus 7 squared, that is an expression, numerical expression. But something like 5 plus 3 equals 8 is not. It's got that equal sign. We call this an equation, okay, something equal to something. Now, oftentimes I'll ask you to evaluate an expression, which means you take all these um, uh, numbers and operations and simplify them down to one number, um, but it doesn't mean I'll necessarily ask you to solve like in an equation. Uh, now oftentimes we can actually write uh, expressions not just in numbers and operations, but we can write them in words. And so we have this word chart, it's also at the back of room 204, for all these different words within the right context mean addition, subtraction, multiplication, or division. Notice sometimes uh, words are used um, in, in multiple columns. So sometimes each means multiply, but it also can mean each uh, individual, each in the same. It could also mean division, right? Um, of sometimes means multiplication, but out of sometimes means division, right? So it, it's interesting that sometimes in, in the right context, words mean multiplication or division or addition or subtraction, right? So um, the answer to an addition problem is sum. Subtraction is the difference. The answer to a multiplication problem is called the product. The answer to division is called the quotient. All right, so let's go ahead first. Uh, it says buzz math note. We don't use buzz math anymore, but we can still use these notes from uh, that program and say, um, let's go ahead and pick out all the ones that are numerical expressions. Remember, go back to the definition. That's anything that contains numbers, operations, grouping symbols, but does not contain equal signs. So 11 minus 2, good. Uh, two, it does not have an operator, right? So it's not an expression, no operations. It's got to contain numbers, operations, or groups. So, so no. Uh, this one and this one, they both have equal signs. So those are also not expressions. But 3 plus 3 and 18 divided by 6 are expressions. Mm -hmm. For number two, it says this is super important. So pay attention. I've actually done this problem three different times. Um, because these are translating word phrases into expressions. So let's try this first one. It says 17 increased by 11. So increased by, if you go to your word chart, uh, should mean uh, decreased by subtraction. So increased by is addition. So basically what we're just saying is 17 plus 11, right? And so we match that one up with this third one right here. Now, this is a super important one. In fact, draw an arrow off to the side. This says 11 less than twice 17. The keyword less than means subtraction, right? But it doesn't mean that I'm going to do 11 minus 17 or twice 17. It actually means I'm going to do the second number, twice 17, minus 11. Think about that. If I said you had um, $5 less than 20, how much money would you have? You would have $15, right? Because that is 20 minus 5. But if I all of a sudden say 5 minus 20, that would mean I would have negative $15, which is not true. So this is definitely wrong. So the less than really is kind of, you almost want to take this number, draw an arrow, and put it behind the number, uh, the second number that it says in the expression. So it says 11 is less than twice 17. You want to do twice 17, 2 times 17, minus 11. 17 divided by 11, that's easy. Obviously, divided by is a division sign, so that matches up with the second one. 17 minus 11, that one stays in order, right? 17 minus 11, that stays directly in order, so that's the first one. And then 17 less than 11, again, this is a subtraction sign, but the key phrase less than makes that 17 go after the 11. So really this is saying 11 minus, I'm sorry, yes, 11 minus 17. And yes, we're going to get a negative out of this, but that's no big deal because that's exactly what it said, right? I want to take 17 from 11, less than 11, right? That is the end of part one.